waiting in line at Chipotle. I looked around thinking no way really be standing here this long. Check my fake watch and head for the doorway. Just kidding. I'm going to go and get my food. I got Chipotle and the guy in there had in one cross earring. So I asked him, did he believe in Jesus? And he said, yes. Guys, I was just in Chipotle, right? As you can see, <laughs> I've kind of like down most of my food. Anyway, it's like the second thing I've eaten all day besides rice this morning. So I walked in and this guy was like serving me and stuff. And he had one cross earring in his ear. So I was thinking, okay, like, do you believe in Jesus? And I said that to him. And he was like, yes, actually. I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Felt kind of good about asking, you know. We had a little nice conversation and everything. Thank you, Jesus, for that opportunity. Like, I just came back from a choir rehearsal. I haven't sang in a choir in, I think, like, five years, five or six years, somewhere around there. It's been a long time. That went well. Um, could have gone better, but it, I still say it went well with the help of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Um, let's see if I can pop my camera up here somewhere. Does this work? Ooh, I like that. It makes my eyes pop. Let's see. Oh, I like this. This works. Perfect. Perfect lighting. <laughs> this is okay. This will work. I wish I had my tiny little ring light in here. But... I was watching this Christian film called I Can Only Imagine at, while I was at church earlier cleaning. And it really resonated with me this time. Uh, the father in the movie, his character reminded me of my grandfather who has now passed on. I'm not going to tell you guys the full movie. I hate when people do that to me. Um, well, strongly dislike, I should say. See? You're catching me. <laughs> Keep me on my toes. Um, but anyway... The moral of the story that I got this time, at least one of them, live in the moment. Tomorrow is not promised. Step out in faith. Believe God. <laughs> Don't go through doubt and all those other things the enemy may present or tempt you with. Just, you don't have to go through all of those things. You don't even have to acknowledge the enemy. You just quote the word. You don't have to acknowledge him as some supreme ruler or something or some supreme opposition oppositional force or anything like that he's not he is not god's opposite equal you know god has no equal no foe can withstand the power of god okay the god abba father who we serve okay but old me the one who was more restricted in life, the one who was like sh not shy but timid and afraid of ridicule, judgment, persecution, um, humiliation, all of those things, would not have asked the guy in Chipotle if, you know, because of his earring, do you believe in Jesus? Old me would have been like, okay, I'll just think about this, but new me is like, you know what? No, like, this is an opportunity to spread the love of Christ, especially to a believer. Like, hello, that's what we're doing here. That's what our purpose is here. We're supposed to spread the love of Christ to all people, especially brothers and sisters in Christ, I think. And we did. The Lord is so amazing. I am really coming out to be this person who takes risks, who will go up and talk to people boldly about Jesus. And it's like, what? Like, that was not me. Even like a couple months ago, I was afraid to talk to somebody that I knew God had intended to be in my life. I would like avoid them purposely and do all this weird stuff just because of like my own past insecurities that I was harboring. I was thinking about, you know, when I stepped out before, uh, what I considered to be stepping out, it didn't work out in my favor. But hey, you know, all those situations, I believe that I wasn't even supposed to do that in the first place. So no wonder it ended poorly. But this one I knew was from God. And you know what? And I'm a new person. I'm coming out. I'm walking out. I am stepping out in faith. I'm believing God. And I just, I look forward to every opportunity to share Jesus with the world. That is, I wear Jesus like in my heart, on my sleeve. Like he's just like every part of me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. And I love that I get to talk about Jesus to anyone I want in the world. <laughs> With the leading of the Lord, of course. Hold on, you gotta wait 30 seconds, I think, for the light to come back on. See, this is why <laughs> I need to just carry my ring light with me. <laughs> um, 
this coming year, this semester, this season, I'm going all out. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm going to be bold and going up and talking to people. I am, I'm done being Miss Quiet, Shy, pretend shy, I should say, um, apprehensive, fearful, all those things. I just cast all that stuff aside, um, rebuke that spirit of fear that used to um, so easily beset me. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm really done with all that. I had such a fear of like, what are people going to think about me? Um, are they judging my every move? They're critiquing me. They're watching me. They're saying all this stuff. But I'm in a place now like, you know what? I'm so glad that I said something like I cannot express to you how bad it feels when like you thought to do something and it was from the Lord and you didn't take that opportunity and you just had to think about okay like what would they have said what wouldn't they have said you know all that you have to turmoil within yourself with all those things and you never got your answer you never found out what would have happened so she's a risk taker now <laughs> Like I'm just going to be recording in the dark here. <laughs> I could turn the light on, but it's just going to go back off after the timer goes. So uh, if there's anything you want to take away from this, I really hope it's that you don't have to be afraid to step out. You don't have to be afraid to like go up and talk about Jesus. You don't have to be afraid to um, to share the gift that God has made you to be with other people. I felt like I had to be isolated for so long. Um, I felt like because of what people thought about me and, and the way that they judged me. And this is recent, by the way. Um, I felt like I had to be isolated. I had to stay kind of in my room, in my dorm on campus. And I couldn't really like venture out and like go and hang out with people. Every now and again, I would like talk to people. But I felt like because people thought I was stuck up, which was a very, very wrong um, perception of me. Anyway, like because they thought that about me, it made me not want to like reach out and show them who I actually am. But I'm a different person. I'm going to be me regardless of what people think. Be the me that God has called me to be. And the me that God has called me to be is not allowed to pretend to be reserved. The people are so nice. Let's opt for the dairy-free eggnog. Anybody with me? When you do all of your grandmother's shopping, but she also gets you things you like. But don't you guys love, like, when you go into the store and everything that you need is actually where it's supposed to be, and you can just walk out knowing that you're ready for whatever it is you're for to do. Merry Christmas Eve, Eve, Eve. Good night. Buenas noches. Laila Tov. Wa an, wa na nate, bon nuit.